Hi, I'm Jillian Jess with MouthpieceSports.com. I'm here with Los Angeles Sparks player Lisa Leslie. There's a reason I'm sitting down, six foot five, very yeah. athletic. <laughs> Let's talk about your book, Don't Let the Lipstick Fool You. How did you pick that title? Oh, I picked the title just because, well, actually, I actually said it to a player in the game. Uh, but the title is more than that. It's just about, you know, stereotypes and defying stereotypes. Playing basketball, I'm a basketball player, but it's what I do. It's not who I am. And I think that a lot of people think that sometimes athletes aren't capable of doing other things. And I've been able to obviously play basketball, win gold medals. But off the court, you know, I do broadcasting for ESPN. I've been able to model in New York and in Europe and just... Uh, basically achieve all the dream, dreams that I had and so my book just kind of tells about the adversity that I went through as a child but also just telling you how to defy the odds and setting your goals and it doesn't matter what your situation is is that you can be successful and you can be anything that you want to be you know obviously through prayer and a lot of hard work. So that inspired you to write the book? It did. Um, Larry Burnett and I, uh, Larry's my ghostwriter, and we Larry would ask me, like, Lisa, you're accomplishing so much. Do you ever write this down? How are you going to remember it all? And I'm like, no, I don't. And so I started, you know, writing down some of the things that I had accomplished. I have all these goals that I've accomplished. And then I started talking about my childhood and just trying to remember, like, you know, what happened and how did I become this person? And, well, five years later, it turned into the book, and that's how we got Don't Let the Lipstick for You. Did you keep a diary? Um, I don't have necessarily a diary, but I do, I did write into a book, but usually I just start out like, dear God, and then I like write all these letters. And so, um, that really helped us also to just figure out a timeline for the things that have happened in the past. I love reading about your relationship, the tightness between you and your mom. How close are you guys? Oh gosh, my mom's everything. Um, it's been amazing because, uh, I, you know, they used to call me her shadow everywhere my mom went and everything she did I wanted to do. And I think it's because she was just really beautiful and she's very soft-spoken but very strong. Uh, my mom always had her nails polished and she had on lipstick and she was just really pretty to me. So I just wanted to do everything she did. And uh, whether that was cleaning the kitchen, waxing the floor or sweeping or raking leaves outside. And because I didn't have a dad, um, she was just everything to me. And so, you know, to this day, my mom lives like a minute and a half from me. And we usually like eat breakfast together or do something. Our, our families are always together. And, uh, you know, even with my husband and my baby, it's just great family support. And, you know, I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's nice. Now, a lot of girls look up to, a lot of people in general, one of them being a teammate of yours. Yeah. <laughs> What's it like playing with Candace? Uh, Candace and I have just had a ball already, and it's just been a short period. Um, it's great because she's a phenomenal player who really understands the game but is always wanting to learn more you know, constantly asking questions like, well, wait, why do you do that? I mean, do you understand what I'm saying? That's her favorite word. So I'm always teasing her, but I'm like, no, I understand what you're saying, you know. Uh, but it's a, it's great. I mean, for us to have the number one draft pick and for Candace to be my teammate at this time in my life and where she is, um, it couldn't be a better storybook, you know, for, for either of us. And so uh, we do a great job on the court and I think off the court we get along awesome. I mean, you know, I have to keep her eating her breakfast so she comes over and has oatmeal sometimes. And, uh, you know, it's great. She's, she's like a little sister and I'm I'm probably like a big sister she never had, she says, and um, I love it. Well, good luck with the book. Thank you for joining us yes. with Thanks Los Angeles me. Park and the legendary Lisa Leslie. I'm Jillian Jesk, and you are watching MouthpieceSports.com.